Hi! Today I wanted to show you how you can make the eyes of an image follow the mouse around like this. Of course they could be following something else instead, but let's get to it. So to start out with, I just placed a large version of the Godot icon without any eyes. This is essentially just a static image, you can use any sprite for this. Then I created two pivots. Make these invisible and show the pivots. These are in the center, roughly anyway, of the eye sockets. So based on these pivots is where we're going to be placing the actual eye. So now the images themselves are perfectly centered on that. By default, their position is just 0, 0, and that's all we got. So that's what the Godot icon looks like if it's actually looking straight. Bit strange, actually. Anyway, let's get these eyes moving. So, a few things. We have the script here. It's the same script that is both on the left origin and the right origin, or pivot or whatever you want to call it. And this is going to need a few things. So, first of all, it's going to want to know what its child is. So, I'll just say var child equals. Ah, let's make that on ready. Get children and get the first one. There, not much thinking about it. There's only one child, so it's definitely going to find the correct one. Then we want a max distance from the center. So let's say var max dist equals, let's say 30. And that's pretty much all for here. So let's get into the process method. Function process delta. Not, we don't really need delta here, but I guess we can put an underscore before it. So it's not going to complain. So first of all, we want the mouse position. Var mouse pause equals get local mouse position and that's already it. Now we want to see the direction the mouse is from our origin. So var, let's just say var direction equals factor 2.0 dot dot direction 2 and we take the mouse position. So from vector 2.0 it's just the origin since this here is by default at 0, 0. That's what we're working with. And then we're taking the direction from there to the mouse position in local space. If you were to work in global space, you would have to change this up a little. Anyway, now we need the distance. So var dist equals mouse pos dot length. The reason we can just take the length as our distance is again because we're starting at zero. So this position is also a vector and so we can just take the length of that. And now we can simply say child dot position equals dear direction times minimum of dist and max dist. So we're taking the direction we're looking at, that is the direction towards the mouse, and we're multiplying that either with the distance if we are somewhere over the eye and so the eye can still look directly at the mouse or the max distance if it's further away. Technically we can leave this part out and not worry about the distance if we just want it to be always the maximum offset, which looks fine in most situations. But having it like this means we can still have an eye that looks somewhere near the center like that and everything else works fine. So that is how you can make the Godot logo or any image you want. Look at the mouse. That will be all for today. Bye.